we're going to discuss a potential problem in this video. The XRP ledger, although they're trying to make it seem like a bug, it's not actually one. Although nine Ripple employees are attempting to promote this story, Ripple has officially said that it is not a bug. The execution was flawed. We are going to discuss the case between Ripple and the SEC. We will examine the current price of Bitcoin and discuss its future direction since it recently saw a slight upswing. Let's see where the price of this cryptocurrency goes from here. Our next agenda item is to discuss. David Schwartz is likely Satoshi's son, as Brad Jinghouse has stated. Satoshi has confirmed that Schwartz is Joel Cat. I'm not sure if the plot is getting thicker for people, but there's a lot to cover. We're going to dive right in. I enjoy the way the markets appear, especially for most of the currently available coins. Bitcoin has increased by 42% in the last 24 hours, and Ethereum is now trading at 386. It has also increased by 87% as USDT and USDC have finally returned to their dollar pegs, thanks to XRP. It briefly reached 52 cents, but that was only a fleeting moment, as it is already back down to 51 cents. I am aware that it aches, and it is infuriating to witness this object doing nothing. In the last 90 days, BNB has increased by more than 70%. Salon sales are up 50%. You get the idea. The value of the ton coin has increased by 205 dues, 76 ships, and 148. Over the past 90 days, there has been a decrease of 8% in XRP. However, this is not a cause for concern or fear, as you are already aware of this. I assure you that any movement in XRP will occur naturally. It's amusing because, as you see, it behaves almost like a spinning coin. We convert all of these other coins into XRP at the same time, as XRP soars like a ferocious rocket, reaching the parabolic curve's limit. The anticipation is palpable, as once XRP breaks through, we'll surpass the record high. Don't be dismayed, $280 will return next year, with some margin. Joel Katz may be able to provide accurate information. Check out Joel Katz's Twitter account, he has also discussed the amount, which is roughly $280-282. Once we surpass that goal, we start the discovery process. No chart is present. Who can tell you what happened, where this is going, or whether there is resistance above $280? Why am I stating that? Because we haven't visited the area, we are unfamiliar with it. You are planning to use charts, and you understand that patterns should align with data, but there is no information available. Nothing that we can find indicates that this is how things are going. The performance could potentially reach a record high of $7. The price could range from $10 to $12. Since we haven't seen pricing, we are unsure. The central bank's remittance companies, which are built on top of the XRP ledger, hold all the money currently in the space, and XRP has been providing usefulness to the new financial system since the 2017 to 2018 bull run. This is going to be an enjoyable experience. Let's take a glance. Let's examine what Corium is now doing. The market is starting to rise slightly. After going up, we experienced a breakdown from 12, after going down, we entered the upper 8 cent range. It appears that we are now attempting to climb back up again. You know, it's really difficult to decide what to buy right now, so I'm going to buy myself some XRP and some aquariums today. It seems that many of these cryptocurrencies, such as Lynx, your primary cryptocurrency, have recently surged in value. I Solana I believe there will be a slight adjustment to these alts. I believe that Bitcoin will continue to rise and that a significant amount of money will cycle out. These alternates, and it will enter it anticipated that Bitcoin will we anticipate that the market will persist, with Bitcoin emerging as the year's top performer above the $74,000 barrier for the remainder of the year. There is no arguing with it. The king is Bitcoin. Thus, it's difficult. This is one tough horse. Declare this to be the most expensive piece of art in history. For those unaware, they conducted a 60-minute interview with this individual a few years ago. 
They're talking about the Bitcoin pizza guy who lives in Miami. He probably owns his own investment company or something, and right now he's either making money or not. Although it was a major error, he is aware of what happened and lives up to it. I'm sharing this with you because I see that many people are losing hope. Keep moving forward and don't allow your faith to fade away like a piece of pizza. If you want to lose faith, pay attention. You still have time to develop that confidence and trust, so take action whenever you feel faith-filled, even in the middle of a bear market. Once you return, you have the opportunity to re-enter the market. Though we are aware that we are in a bull market, the price isn't likely to change much. These prices could rise at any moment. There's not much space for error on our part. Here, we must maintain our wits. Don't be the Bitcoin pizza guy. We need to keep on top of our game and make sure we execute, according to crypto breaking news. Unknown to us, a whale bought $1,590 worth of Bitcoin on the last day, making it more valuable than $16 million. The buyer may be a large bank or bank pension fund. Affluent individuals, on the other hand, are also accumulating Bitcoin. I apologize, and he is correct. Hear us out. We are aware. As we all know, there is no putting this back in the bottle, institutions are here for the first time, and the banks are coming. It is possible to argue that because we entered a market before institutions did, you will likely never have the same opportunity again, but your children may. That might be with your kids. This is a really unique occasion. Since the institutions haven't pushed in as aggressively as they are trying, we're here first, and you're still early. However, once this bull market gains momentum, I believe we'll witness something comparable to a $7 trillion cryptocurrency market. The bull market, also known as the cryptocurrency market, has the potential to be worth $7 trillion. That, I believe, is it. This is not something that is going to go away. Nevertheless, I don't think there will be a 90% correction. Instead, I think Bitcoin will continue to be rather stable. Consider this, I don't believe we will see more bull markets after that. You would assume that institutions would enter the market knowing that they could lose 95% of their holdings. Do you genuinely think that others will purchase their assets overnight or invest their money in them? Imagine the scenario where you deposit money into your employer's 401k and, after three and a half years, or, perhaps more accurately, two months out of every four years, it crashes leaving you to repeat the process. People would naturally want to invest in products like that, so I believe we have found a stable point. Please give this to me. For those of you who are unaware, XRP Markets, who conducted a crowd-run funding phase for their token, allegedly experienced an incident where a number of their tokens purportedly got, I don't want to say, leaked, but the contract was incorrect, and they're attempting to blame this on an XRP ledger bug when it's not a bug. He's Vala, he's a senior. The Ripple X software engineer stated unequivocally that it is not a bug. Although there was an undocumented limitation, I'm not sure if following the right procedures would have made it a problem. Tell me where you stand, please. This was simply a poorly executed and overlooked transaction. The XP market made a mistake and failed to adhere to the necessary preparatory measures. The XRP ledger likely contains the lineup code. I'm not familiar with you, tell me what you think. This will have to wait until my next video. However, we will cross over and arrive at this is why Wheezy has brought up the subject. Before answering the question, is Joel Katz one of the four? Satoshi Satoshi posted his last message. On April 26, 2011, a few days later, in May 2011, the XRP project got underway. Satoshi sent Carr a note on March 23, 2011, informing her that he had moved on to other endeavors. Which, if you look at what we've written for David Schwartz, all align with each other. It's accurate to say that Schwartz was on the lookout for something unique and captivating at the start of 2011. In response to a novel development in cryptography, individuals began to investigate Bitcoin. Schwartz fails to mention that using blockchains allows for the avoidance of centralized oversight. He was a libertarian who had bought some Bitcoin and supported many of the movement's principles. 
He was particularly concerned about the concentration of money under Satoshi N.A.K. Moto's control. David also utilized these resources. Why does he claim that he prefers not to use his real name? Joel Katz rather than David Schwartz? That brings back memories from my high school days when my friend John, if he's listening, had a bulletin board system. Before everyone had internet access, people would call each other's computers to exchange gossip and leave messages. He asked if I wanted an account, to which I replied in the affirmative. He then asked if I wanted to use my real name, to which I replied in the negative. I didn't really know why I thought I was so interesting, though. Around November 16, 2009, which is also David Schwartz's birthday, Satoshi posted a pre-release version of the Bitcoin programmer. Webmaster Incorporated, a California-based business that performed contract work for the NSA, employed David from 2001 to 2011. Crucially, he stated that he believed the NSA's Bitcoin design could give contributors more credit. It's possible that Schwartz invented a significant portion of Bitcoin while attending the NSA's final recorded message. I know of only one individual, David Schwartz, who opposes the creation of bonds using XRP. Brad Garlinghouse, roll, please. Pay attention to what he said about Joe. I'll fix it. Note that Ripple did not actually release XRP, which is an open-source decentralized technology similar to Bitcoin. As early engineers who worked on Bitcoin, some of the creators of the XRP ledger, early engineers who worked on Bitcoin, saw some of the scalability issues that Bitcoin was likely to have, including energy consumption costs and other issues. Some of the creators currently working on the XRP ledger were themselves early engineers, and they wanted to create a better digital asset to address these issues. It was effective with Bitcoin. You believe Schwartz had a hand in this? I believe he doesn't want to say anything, and you know it. Deep inside, David Schwartz had a 100% hand in Bitcoin development. 